Time is running out on North Korea, and countries around the world must do more to denuclearize Pyongyang. That's coming from U.S. National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster as Trump prepares to embark on a five-nation tour of Asia, with the regime's growing threats topping the agenda. Kim Hyun-bin shares with us his remarks. White House National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster told reporters Thursday that President Trump will call on all countries to further pressure North Korea into giving up as nuclear weapons. He added that the president will remind friends and foes alike that the U.S. stands ready to defend itself if needed, using its full range of capabilities. What the president has done is clarified in, in all, of his, uh, all of his discussions, his statements on, on North Korea, our determination uh, to ensure that North Korea is unable to threaten our allies and our partners and, and certainly the United States. In an interview with YTN, McMaster said Trump will solidify his stance of denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula during his visit and is expected to warn Pyongyang that any attack will be countered by Seoul and Washington. He added that the U.S. will consult with South Korea before taking any military action against the North. We are, as you know, completely intertwined in our command structure. We're sharing information intelligence every day. It's hard to imagine any scenario where a threat could manifest itself. The most critical stop in President Trump's week-long trip to Asia will be in China, where he is expected to press his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping to tighten the screws on North Korea. President Xi may be asked to further reduce China's oil shipments to North Korea and to slight restrictions on coal imports and financial transactions with the regime. President Trump leaves on Friday for his tour of South Korea, China, Japan, Vietnam, and the Philippines. The longest visit to Asia by any American president in more than 25 years. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.